Hello, welcome to the Weight Space class. What we're going to do today is we're going to be doing three circuits in total. If you're with me for the shorter version, you'll have that first circuit to do. It's all going to be 50-10. So what you notice about the three exercises in each round is that there's not move, much movement around from one to the other because we have to really get into that next position in that 10 seconds. The weights that I'll be using today, I'm going to be using some four weights and some three weights. We'll need a mat for getting on the floor, especially if we're going for the extended version. Do have a bottle of water as well. Okay, so we've got those things ready, just bring it on down and we'll get ready with that warm up. And we're going to go in four, three, two, one. Okay, that'll be good. Out and back. Give me that strong squeeze. Feel nice and light on your feet and pulling back. Okay, now pull it up, squeeze it into the waist. Good, so my rib cage is not coming up and my shoulder blades stay down. Okay, over the top. Lovely, give me that reach, out with the open the ankles, core already pulled in, go up, up, I'm going to sweep it across and reach, I'm keeping my shoulders back and down and I'm getting a little twist through my waist, okay, I'm going to bring the arms together here, squeeze, good, I'm doing your turn, push, Feel it already in your obliques. Weight on one leg. I'm getting that turn with the elbow going behind my waist. A little bit of pec work going on here as well. Change it over for me. Go work, go do that turn. Warming up that waist. Four. Go two more. Lovely, good. Go down side to side. Remember to push your hips back on this one. Lovely, good. Pushing that heel into the floor. Get that little stretch out on the calf. Up on that front leg, do the run. Elbow goes back as the knee goes forward. Lovely, good. On the other side. Up on that front leg. Yeah, go another four. Lovely. Just squat it here. Knee on the way up. Good. Remember, I'm pushing my bottom back. I'm having that nice straight back up out of my hips. Now I'm going to try that with a kick and feel it in the hamstrings. Get a nice strong kick. With the heel out, foot flexed. Good, I'm going to walk it forward here, just drop it down, coming back up each time. Feel it through the front of the thighs, it's going to be legs first. Good, two more, two, and one, and well done, okay lovely, good. Just drop it forward, remember tabletop here, and then coming back up. And down again, pushing it back and up. I'm going to do one more of those. Just dropping down, keep that core pulled in nice and strong and come up. Lovely, good. And just give it a little shake out and we're going to go onto that timer. Okay, on my first one, I'm going with that medium heavy weight, which is going to be helped by my keeping my core pulled in. And it's that swing. So it's a swing, definitely a swing up, but a controlled swing. Okay, so grab those weights that you want to use. Remember it is 50 seconds on, on this first one. And then we're just keeping one of those weights. Okay, are we ready to go? We're going to go from five. Okay, so I'm controlling the swing. Feel it through the glutes as well. It's like that kettlebell swing where most of my work comes through my legs. Good. just stops at the top before it drops down. So it's not a lift, it's definitely a controlled swing. Good work, keep it going, it's quite aerobic, using those arms and legs at the same time. Fifteen seconds left. Three, 
two, one. I'm going to put one of those down. I'm going to have a weight over my head. I go down into that lunge, into that lunge, come up, bring that weight forward just to that thigh, and then go back down again. So you can tap it there. If you want to, you can come up with that knee, then back down over that leg. Not fast, just controlled. Remember when you're lifting up that weight, I'm not leaning back. That's it, good. So just look forward for that balance and squeeze. Next time around, you will be using the other leg. Control for the core. Three, two, one. That one we did in the warm up where I was pressing my hands together. Here. On one leg, I'm going to use the same leg that I've just used. Three, two, one. Here we go. Squeezing it back. Really get that twist through the waist. Keep the weight on one leg all the time. Using your oblique to get that lift on that knee. Comes from outside into the middle. Then you go over. Keep it strong. That'll be good. With that one weight, squeezing it around to the back of the waist. Remember, next time round, it'll be the other side. That'll be good. We're almost there now. Staying on that one leg. Get me that squeeze. Keeping control. Three, two, one. Lovely. I'm back to the beginning with my swing. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good work. Get that swing each time. Feel it through the core where you've got that control. Fifteen seconds left now. Really keep control of those glutes and squeeze up to the top. Very like a kettlebell swing, I'm just swinging those arms. With that weight, balance by my core. Three, two, one. Good work. We're on that other leg. Weights above my head. Shoulder blades back down and in. Here we go. Drop. So again, you can just tap it to there. And as I sink into that backward lunge, I'm keeping my balance. Just looking straight forward. Good, how are you doing? And squeeze and come up. If you want to, Maybe you can just lift that knee and put that weight onto that thigh there. All of it's under control. Good, we have 15 seconds left. You're doing good. That's it, lovely. Up. And squeeze it forward. Last few seconds now. Three, two, one. Angle work. That squeeze across, core pulled in. I'm on one leg. Okay, so it comes up to the middle. Don't make it lazy, it doesn't come right across. Keep it under control. And then I'm squeezing. Okay, it goes from my chest on one side, down and across. Okay, all under control through your core. Good work. Just having 20 seconds left now. Give me that turn each time. Squeeze it. Really feel it in the waist. Just that toe taps out. I don't step back onto that leg. I keep this weight on one leg only. Three, 
two, one. Are we ready for our third out of four circuits on this first one? Into our third circuit now. Good. It's all about the legs, with that core, and keeping control of the arms on all three of these. Good. I'm just getting that swing forward, but that swing is really coming with a very stable middle section. Good. Here we go. We've got. 20 seconds left. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, weight above my head, my core pulled in, and I step back into that lunge. Again, I can come down to my thigh, keeping it all under control. That one heavy weight in between the two arms. So whatever works for you, whatever you've got there, that's it, good, squeeze it in. 30 seconds left. Last time you're doing this on this leg. Next time round, it's the other leg. Good, up. Really feel that you can sink into that lunge with those weights right above your head. So you're in a nice straight line from that weight. If you want to pull that knee up, you can as well, up to you. Three, two, one. I'm going to use that knee again to that side, standing on that other leg. Coming across. Weight on one leg only. Core definitely pulled in, so get that twist. Lovely, good. So and squeeze and turn. Three, 
two, one, and you'll work. How we move to the other side. This is it, the last of our 12 minutes if you're staying with me for that shorter version. Okay, here, and squeeze and turn. Do get the turn, but keep control of everything else through your zip and hollow. Start stepping around on that other leg. Here we go. We're in those high teens now. Now we're in the low teens. Give me that squeeze. Work with me now. Last nine seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. And good work. Well done. Okay. If we're going up here, very, very well done. Could always run this circuit twice. It's all about keeping those legs working the whole time, keeping your balance by using that core, arms under control. Okay, so very, very well done. If you're coming with me now, we're getting on the floor. Okay, so bringing those mats out for me, please. My first one is just going to be body weight, and it's going to be using my obliques getting up and over. I'm just picking up slightly heavier weight on this one as well because that's going to be over my head when my legs drop and I'm going to go back to that still heavyish weight got that four kilograms on that one okay are we getting on the floor so a little water break here then we're on the floor okay on my first one it's that cycle of the legs so again my core working for me but also my abs my obliques getting up and over so here I am tabletop hands just behind your head you can have your fingers on your cheekbones there so that you know that elbow is going to stay out and here we go we cycle each way good 25 seconds left remember this is four times through on each of these circuits good get me that lift get me that turn three two one and good work well done I'll go with that heavier weight. It goes over my head. My rib cage down and in, my core pulled in. Okay, so over my head, and then it comes up, and then on the other side. So this is all about stabilization on this one. I'm also working those arms. Then think about your midsection. And that's it, nice and stable. a good one. Keep control. Three, two, one. Good work. I'm now slightly lighter weight behind my knee. I'm going to drop my weighted leg first, then my non-weighted leg to do the bridge. So I'm here, has to be just out at the side, here, and this is where I come up and really squeeze. Again, remember which leg you started with. Next time round, it's going to be the other one. Good, give me that squeeze, give me that lift. Core pulled in. Keeping that movement really nice and strong. Three, 
three, two, one. Good work, well done. I'm back to my first one. Okay, it's gonna be all about the core and the abs on this one, either contracting or stabilizing or doing both. Good, we open it out. Place those thumbs just underneath the cheekbones. Here we go. You can really feel this in the abs by the time you've done four sets. We have 25 seconds to go now. Really keep it steady. Again, legs can be in close if you feel that's too much, but do get the up and over each time. Make sure it's not just the elbow coming across your face. Keep those elbows parked out wide and we get up and over. Last few seconds now with single figures. Really feeling it now on the obliques. Three, two, one. Good work. My heavier one weight. Long legs, and again, if you feel you can't get down with a straight long leg, you can do bent legs here, and then still bring it up. And then you can go bent leg, and bring it up. So again, I'm just dropping out from the hip, instead of dropping out from the knee and the hip. I'm not straightening that leg off. I've kept my knee closed. If you want to do it straight, good. Get all the way down if you can, or, if you feel you've just gone so far, you can only keep control to there, that's where you stop. Good, rib cage down and in, shoulder blades back down and in, as those arms go over your head. Use your core as that strength. Get that pull back over. Three, two, one, and good work, well done, lovely. I'm on that bridge, but on the other side. So I've changed my legs here. Down with that non-weighted one, sorry, down with the weighted one, down with the non-weighted one, because that's the one that pushes me up. And it doesn't only pushes me up, it pushes that weight as well. So that's it, really feel that you can challenge yourself on this. Push. Again, I'm not overextending my hips. I've got my sip and hollow on. So I've got that lift up through the glutes, through the hamstring, through the lower back on the side where I've planted that foot right underneath my knee. I've not kept it out too wide or I might get cramped on the back of my leg. I've kept it in close. Three, two, one. And good work, well done. We're ready for our third repetition on this circuit. Okay. And off we go. Make each one a good one. I'm really taking my shoulder blade off the floor here and getting up and over. Thirty seconds left. Now if you get to tell now, so again, if you need to go short to do, if you can keep that long one, really working those trans abs as well, to get that leg out. Then my obliques at the front, to get me up and over. My long abs, keeping my head off the floor all the time. Just going from one shoulder to the other. My hips are really nice and steady. Last few seconds now, we're in single figures. This is the third out of four times, so you're doing really good. Three, two, one, good work. That heavy weight, and my head. Core definitely pulled in, my sip and hollow on. And here we go. As it comes up, get me that lift. Controlled on the way down, controlled on the way up. Doing good. Really being able to feel this now on my abs those contracting abs, and also the stabilizing abs as well. Last little bit now, just keep it nice and steady. Three, 
two, one. Well done. Whichever leg you use first on this one, that's where I'm back to now. Okay, so weighted leg goes first, I drop it down, I drop the other one down, it's in underneath my knee, not too far away, and then that push up all the time, my core, keeping me nice and straight when I get those drop downs, but also when I get that push up. You don't want your hip bones to take over here and arch your back. You have to use your glute and your hamstring to get up. One, each one being a good one, good lift up. Three, two, one, good work. Are we ready for our last repetition on this circuit before we move to our last one? You're doing good. Okay, thumbs part underneath. Your cheekbones there will really keep your elbows out. They then can't come in without it feeling really awkward. Keep the elbows out. Get the shoulder up and over. Do not rock on your hips to do it. Really feel that everything underneath the waist there, evenly on the floor, on those hips. Lovely, good. This is your last time of doing this and you have got 24 seconds left. You're doing good. It is tough. Especially when you've ended up doing nearly four minutes of this. 15 seconds left now, make each one a good one. Don't rush it, get up there, get that twist, get that turn. Five, three, two, one, and good work, well done. Okay, sip and hollow one, legs up, Bent legs or straight legs, then I come up to the top, then I go back down. Good work. now. Last time we're doing this one in this session. If you cage down here, my back doesn't move at all. Three, two, one. Well done. And then my second leg, second time. Okay, so here we go. Drop the weighted leg first. Feel that core pulled in. Plant the other leg and up you come. Lovely, good. So arms, wherever you feel comfortable with. If you wanted a little bit of an extra challenge on this last one, just put them across your chest. Lovely, good. Planting that foot underneath the knee, remember. Keep that sip and hollow on the whole time, so I'm not overarching my back, but I am getting up as high as I can go through that one leg, taking me and that weight with it. Three, two, one. Good work. We have now finished that second circuit and we're on to our last circuit. So really well done. On this one, I come to standing up. Just my own body weight on it. So we come up. I'm going to walk out with an inchworm. So just walking out and then down into a commando. I'll show you the two versions so you can Bend your knees, that's fine, come out into your plank. Now, you can go down in your commando and back up. If you feel that is too much, just hold your plank there, do me a touch, do me a touch to each shoulder, and then come back up. And then get up to the top, give a little squeeze on my glutes, okay, to get ready. And then the other two will be on the mat on our sides. Okay, are we ready to go? So it's just your own body weight now. Okay, three, two, one, here I go. I'm going out into 
into that good plank position. I'm going down into commando without moving my hips around. Try not to twist from the hips and then give me that squeeze at the top. Lovely, good. Really have to use that core now. And squeeze. Down to that plank. Drop onto one, drop onto the other. You can alternate those if you want to, because you'll notice when we're coming back up out of that commando, it really tells on one arm and then the other. And that's it, good. Three, two, one. Lovely, good. I'm staying here for my next exercise. So again, this one here, out. It's going to be the one where I lift up, push up. So again, everything from underneath here, squeeze, going back down. Up, squeeze, going back down. On my next one, here, I am going to take a weight and I'm going to squeeze it together. So you can imagine it's the obliques working on both of these. Okay, so just your own body weight. One leg out, one leg nearer to you. Got a few more minutes, to a few more seconds to think about it. Okay. Try not to hang off that shoulder, keep it strong. Three, two, one, here we go. Lift, squeeze, and back down. So there is work to be done through that shoulder. Lovely, good, don't rush it. Push through that foot, inner thigh squeeze, bring that leg in. Then the weight up here, partly through my foot, but a lot of it through my shoulder, and my glutes, coming up. Good, squeeze it. 20 seconds left. Up, oh, squeeze. Lovely, again. Really feel that work building up, especially on that arm. Going a little bit wobbly. Up, oh, squeeze. Three, two, one. And well done. Then I'm going to grab that weight. It's going to be here. I come up into that bridge. Squeeze it down, go down, up. If you feel it's too much doing two on one side, just change the other and change it around the next time in. Lovely, good, give me that squeeze. And down, that work, work, that weight here. So it's going straight down through my elbow, through my shoulder, and lift. I've used that heavier weight, so I'm keeping it close to me. If you decided not to use a weight, you can go here and squeeze it. Down and up and squeeze and go back down, up to you. Okay, last few seconds now, give me that squeeze. Three, two, one. Good work. Are we ready for our inchworm out, our commando, or touch and touch? There we go, so I'm coming out to my full plank here. I'm dropping down in my commando. I'm coming back up, and then I'm walking back up. Give me that squeeze, down. That'll be good. Remember about those hips, try not to rock them. Really work through your core. That'll be good, dropping down. I tend to favour my right arm, so again, give with the left arm a few goes by pushing you back up again. Three, two, one, and good work. I'm on the other side. On the shoulder, out the way from my ear. Okay, that'll be good. Up. So just my own body weight here. Just one foot, one arm. And then that inner thigh, because my toe is pointed outwards, and I can use that inner thigh to get my leg up. So lots going on here. Okay, good. 20 seconds left. Last 
last few seconds. Push, lift. Yeah, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And I stayed here. Front leg tucked under. Close by, unless you don't want to use the weight, just use your long arm instead. Okay, so I came up, squeeze the two things together, then go back down. This weight just traveling through my shoulders all the time. Up, squeeze it. Three, two, 
one and go work well done our last two minutes here we go up and out of that shoulder getting that lift nice and strong push for that foot get that lift circuits 12 minutes each it is really hard because you get very very little recovery in that 10 seconds just enough time to get into that in next position so very very well done i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed teaching it to you and i'll see you again next time okay bye bye for now <laughs>